What is good, YouTube? Quinway Basketball Analysis coming to y'all with a quick video. We're going to talk about the San Antonio Spurs, a team that's still right there, just like they was last year, trying to get one of those playoff spots and continue their excellence of making it to the playoffs. They fell short last year, but... They ended up having a better season than well out of us thought. They actually was in the A spot for a little bit um, of the season. Actually was seventh for a little bit. They just couldn't cling on to it. I do think they still have a legitimate shot because they are right there with the Grizzlies and the, and the Warriors, and they're not a bad team. I don't look at the Spurs as a team that's a disaster. I don't look at them as a terrible team. They don't beat themselves. They still play smart. They still play together. They have guys like Patty Mills that can give them floor, floor space, and DeJounte Murray has become a better scorer than he was when he came into the league. DeMar DeRozan is still one of the better isolation scorers and facilitators at his position, and they compete. You know, Greg Popovich, he's going to demand. He's going to want guys to, to play their role. He wants guys to play the right way, and the Spurs, even though they have no Duncan, they have no Kawhi, no Tony, no David Robertson, or Mano Ginobili, they find themselves more competitive than anybody would have thought. And the hardest part as a Spurs fan is knowing that this team isn't good enough to win a championship because they have always been in that conversation the last 20 years, basically. But they have built the right mentality for a team. They didn't tank. They didn't give up. They they taught their guys how to stay disciplined. They taught their guys how to play the right way. They held their guys accountable. And they allowing their guys to fight and earn every minute that they play. Uh, they didn't just give this team to the youth, which we all hope that they would, um, especially after you've seen LaMarcus Aldridge getting bought out. Um, you would think that DeMar DeRozan was out. But, no, they still wanted to go out there and try – to play the best way they can and live with the results. And that's what you want your culture to be. You want to have a winning culture. You want to teach guys the right way. And you want guys to develop. You do want Lonnie to get more minutes. You do want DeJounte to get more minutes. You want Derek White get more minutes. Because they are the future of this team. The, the, the team will be built on how good those guys can be. Because we knew that LaMarcus Aldridge and DeMar DeRozan wants to you know compete at a higher level. You know, we didn't want LaMarcus to retire, but that's what he ended up doing. But that was before then. And DeMar, I think it will be good for him to spread his wings and go to a different team just because the Spurs do need to find what is they style and what they need to play with these other guys that they have already brought along and invest in time in. And you want to see them hit the highest pinnacle that they can re reach as players. And the best way to do that is let them develop and practice and do it on the court and, and do it together because this is the future of the Spurs. And I like a lot of the young players and I like the way they compete and I like the way they defend. They may not be the greatest defensive team. They may not be the greatest offensive team, but they have a lot of guys that stay in a lane. They have a lot of guys that's willing to branch out and do more. The problem with this team is finding who is that franchise guy. Once they, leave, once they lose DeMar DeRozan, they will have to find somebody that will have to step up and become that number one option and, and have that, that order of who team this is and what we're running and what we're trying to do. That's the biggest problem with keeping DeMar is trying to find a guy that will be the franchise. And you look at DeJounte and all these guys on this team and you still don't see it yet. You see that they're committed to these guys because they gave them extensions and they didn't trade them. But a lot of those guys don't have it just yet. And maybe losing DeMar might have force somebody to step up. Maybe it might give them more confidence because that's what they will have to do now that they don't depend on DeMar to do all the creating and all the scoring and clutch and big moments. And that's how a star is born, when they are put in those situations and they're asked to deliver. And we will have to see in the future who those guys will be. But right now, they're bringing them along slowly and they're getting them prepared to get ready to go to war um again because they will be a team that will be tough to put out they will be a team that's going to be tough um for the play-in tournament but 
I do think they was they, they should be in the conversation. And even with losing LaMarcus, they have still been pretty good uh, for the most part. So the Spurs are an interesting team just because you know they have the cap space in the future to get a guy. You know that Greg Popovich should be here. And if he's here, they're going to always have a competitive roster around them because that's what they do in San Antonio. And that's what they believe. You know, they, they believe this. They be, they believe championship culture because that's what they have been for the last 20 years. And they are still showing that the last two years, even if they don't make the playoffs, this is what you want to see out of a young team. Feisty, competitive, and, and, and not scared to go at anybody. And they do that th- those things still to this day, even if they have the devoid of talent. But what I will say is, who will be that guy? Um, will they have to bring them in? They're not going to be able to draft them unless they develop the guys into it just because they're not going to get a high pick if they continue to try to fight for the playoffs. And the Spurs have been known, honestly, for development. You can see Manu Tony. Obviously, you've seen Kawhi Leonard come from being a role player to becoming one of the best players in the league. At one point, was the best player in the league, and it was all because of work ethic. Um, and they have guys that have already developed their body and developed their game and already have developed, um, some type of style to their game. It just, they don't have that superstar just yet, um, on on this roster. And that's one of the toughest things to get, especially if you're not going to bottom out, but you know, they just have to continue to trust, you know, within their, their organization and their system to be able to get there. You know, you don't always have to have a superstar right away. They can come in, they can become one, and they can also, you know, play together. And that's how they've been able to survive so far. But I think that it will be harder for them once DeMar leaves because he does so much for this organization. I feel like DeMar DeRozan has had an underrated season um, for the Spurs. And it was kind of crazy that, Mike Conley got the play all, the, the all-star spot over DeMar, considering that he's averaging good rebounds, assists, and points for a team that was at that point in the playoffs and didn't even, you know, make it. And I feel like DeMar has been underrated as a San Antonio Spur, Spur because even when Lamar Aldridge made it to the all-star team, I thought that should have been DeMar because he was doing the most work and he was doing – you know, pretty much everything for that team. And LaMarcus was doing his thing too, but the most consistent season and the most, you know, burden was all on DeMar. And he, I feel like he got snubbed that year by LaMarcus for the Spurs. So I think that, you know, once they lose DeMar, I I really want to see the three guys that's going to step up for this organization and be the face of this future of the Spurs. And, They might even have to let one go to get another one at a different position because they have a lot of guards, but not a lot of minutes for all of them. And eventually they're not going to be able to pay a bunch of guards just to be good. They're going to need one to be great. And that's the one they don't have to rely on and depend on the most. Um, And that's what they're going to have to figure out. We all thought that Lonnie Walker was a great player. We all felt like he was one of the steals of the draft. And now we have to see, will he be, that shot creator, shot maker that he has showed th- that in Florida, will he be able to do that at the highest level um, in the bigger role? Um, will it be there, right? Will it be DeJounte Murray going from a starter to being a, a star? Um, will it be Pirtle, who has been a guy that was in the DeMar DeRozan trade but hasn't really lived up to being a great center um, just yet, even though he has a lot of promise still, and they already gave him a contract extension, so he's a part of what they want to build. So they have a lot of guys, they have a lot of you know options right now. They still are one of the better teams in the league, even though their record isn't the greatest, but it's it's a lot better than what we was going to give them credit for coming into this year. And they have done the right things when it comes to you know developing young men and building the culture and the right mentality that you should have um, the players instilled in. So I don't really have too much problems with the Spurs. With the Spurs and what they're trying to do, I just want to see who they're going to give the franchise to. And that's going to be the interesting part for how they build the team now, uh, which will be next season especially, and, you know, the two years after that.
other than that, let me know. If you're a Spurs fan, you should be excited. You should be happy that you still have a team that, you know, is competitive, a team that can still, you know, compete for that eighth spot. They are a long away from being a championship team, but if they continue to have guys that love the game or push to their best abilities and are expected to deliver greatness, then the future might be brighter than what people think um, in San Antonio because a lot of people thought the team would be way worse than they are and they have been pretty steady for majority of the season. And that's something that most of us didn't see. And that's something that they have been um, all year. Other than that, Quinn Wade, basketball analysis, I'm gone. And let me know what you guys think about the Spurs. Who should be the franchise player or should they trade for one? Should they trade two of their two of they, they players to get one? Um, we'll see what they do. Other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll be back to with I will be back with another video tomorrow. Um, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below.